everybody. Today it is Thursday. It is April 18th, 2024, and I'm here to do, I think, a vlog. We're going to vlog a little bit today. Um, just a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to get into today. I got a lot of things that are racing through my brain that I got to do, that I want to do, that I should do. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I want to show you my outfit, you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the shoes. Uh, it said it was supposed to be 75, the high today, 75, 78, the high. But it is really, really chilly, very chilly right now. Anyway, top is from North Style, I believe it's called, extra large. The pants are from A New Day, large. I've shown the pants before. The top I got at a Goodwill years ago. Um, it's very, very long. I have it untucked so I can show you. And then the pants I forgot who, or the pants, the shoes I forgot who they're from, but I, they're, I got them at the Goodwill. Um, there's some sandals, but I don't know. I don't know. I might change to the ones I always wear because it's really chilly. It really is chilly. Okay, let me show you real quick. I'm not feeling the outfit. I'm not feeling it. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm very unsure of the top is it time to go is it not time to go the pants i think are meant to be worn like this the pants are a kind of a linen sort of uh lounging i picture these like on a beach kind of thing i am thinking i don't know let me show you i like the strappy neck but i don't know i love this fabric oh my gosh i don't know what this fabric is but i love it i find it in some of my workout pants they're the best. Whatever this fabric is, it's just the best. I love it. Anyway, this is it, you guys. Um, let me show you the pants. The pants, they're, like I said, they're a large from A New Day. It's an elastic waist. Um, I think they're supposed to fit very, very loungy-like. Um, the shoes, like I said, my sandals. I love these. But I don't know, it is very, very chilly, you guys. Really chilly right now. <sighs> I'll tuck in the shirt. All right, there's just tucked in a very loose tuck, you know, just a barely tuck. I don't know, not feeling it, not feeling it. But I don't have time to change, I just don't. It looked good in my head, I envisioned it better, but so that that's that's it i don't know the top i'm not convinced the pants i think like i said they're, they're supposed to be sort of like that really drapey it's linen kind of feel to it i i'm okay with it it's just the top maybe the top and the pants are not going i i, I don't know today i'm just not feeling it today <laughs> and I, you know i, I don't want to change i don't think i am anyway all right that's it for right now just some uh, Lauren Conrad earrings for today. I don't think a necklace would go good with this because it has a, the straps. I don't know what we're going to get into today, but I thought I would just fire up the camera. Um, I'm feeling some kind of way. You guys heard my vlogs. I told you that it's going to be this way. It's sort of hitting hard, sort of, sort of really... The reality, I was talking about it. I'll put a video here for that. But, you know, going through something very, very personal, very, very difficult. Uh, pushing through is what I'm doing. I feel like that's what I'm doing right now is just pushing through. It, it's exhausting when you got to do that every single day, you know, when you got to get up and push through, you know, it, it can be very exhausting. And I think today is, um, you know, I need to go to... I don't even know if I told you. I'm going to go back to the optometrist uh, because the contact lenses are good. But she said that if I still need to wear the readers, uh, the same prescription reader, then I, I need to go back. And I do. Okay. So anyway, there's that. But um, so I'm doing my thing. I'm doing what I got to do and I'm pushing through. But it is exhausting to do so sometimes. I just don't know what I'm going to get into. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, I need a distraction for sure, but there is things I need to do. <laughs> and those aren't just, those aren't as fun. Anyway, that's it for right now, you guys. Okay, let's go see what the day brings. Uh, I have, I wanted to show you, let me back up because I know my son's asleep and I don't want the, the noise of the garage to bother him. 
his bedroom's right there. Um, I have my Titan bag again. This, let me show you. Let me show, I got my water. Okay, my Titan. I need a smaller one like this, just like this. Maybe like a little bit of a smaller one. I mean, this is this is so nice though. But I have my um, protein shake. I think it's banana flavor, which I gotta order more keto chow stuff. Maybe we'll do that today. Uh, so I have protein shake, one Zivia. I've already had one Zivia, but I just have one in there and extra water, um, just in case. And that's all I have in there. All right, I think that's it for right now, you guys. Kind of wish I can crawl back into my bed, kind of do, but this is part of the process. Last night I talked to my daughter. Um, It's amazing. I have wonderful kids. You know, she inspired me. She inspired me. So it was nice. It was nice. I was going to work out last night. Uh, I had my workout clothes on. I had everything on. And I started talking to my daughter. I got very emotional. Um, just very emotional. And I felt my my blood pressure, you could tell, I started getting like one of those specific blood pressure headaches. And this was after I talked to my daughter. So um, yeah, after she left, you know, we hugged and things. And I, I started really feeling like my head was starting to hurt, plus the crying and things. So I had my workout gear on. I was actually ready to work out and um, I took my blood pressure. I thought, you know what, let me relax, let me lay here. And I took my blood pressure and it was high. It was high. So I thought, okay, just lay here, just calm down. I put some music on. It came down just a little bit, but it was not coming down at all, no matter what I did. So I had to take a blood pressure medication. And, um, and I thought, you know what, I don't want to stress my body out. I just don't. I don't think it's it's... Yeah, I think I just need to take a shower. Uh, I, I was going to take a bath. I don't take baths, but I was. But anyway, I took a shower and uh, I just lay there hearing music until I fell asleep. So, yeah. Anyways, okay, let me get the directions because I know how to get there, but <laughs> just in case. <laughs> All right. Oh, today's Thursday. <gasps> it's uh, $1.99 for the tag of the week. So we might stop by. All right. All right, you guys. 9.52. <clears throat> okay. Let's start to the Goodwill real quick. But as I go there, I will tell you what happened. I have new contacts for the right one only. So I always forget where the Goodwill's at. Um, okay. This side my far away is the same. I just got a new one because the other one was two weeks old. So they gave me a new one for this one. But it's the same. This eye right here, we bumped it up in the prescription. No, that's not it. Why do I always... Okay, it's over there. They bumped it up in the prescription, but they can't correct the stigmatism with anything higher than what I had before. So I had 6.0 corrective stigmatism, which let me tell you, you see the clarity. Oh my God, the clarity. It's so amazing. Amazing when they fix your stigmatism and they correct it, not fix it, but correct it with the contact lens. The clarity, oh my God, is crisp. But with that though, the prescription is not enough 
for me to be able to read um, mundane things. And I, what I mean by that is, let me get some water. Basically, what it is, is that with this, my reader, okay, it's the problem. Um, it's, it's It has stigmatism. And what they did before was, all they did was fix the stigmatism on this contact lens and upped the prescription on this one, okay? So the dilemma was, is, okay, we can up the reading, which is what you're going to be looking for, but you're not going to see it crisp. It's not going to be crisp because they can't correct the stigmatism with that prescription. But she's okay with it because my stigmatism, I'm borderline. She says, you can either go, you're like, you could go either way with, you know, we could add to fix the stigmatism or we can remove fixing the stigmatism and give you a little bit more of a prescription you're going to be fine because my concern was when if then if I have this prescription without fixing the stigmatism in the long run would that strain my eye and she said no no you're going to be fine because you're very borderline so right now I have a higher prescription I'm going to put it to the test in the goodwill there's a line there's a line to get in a little bit of a line to get in um so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I really, I, I, I don't see it crisp anymore. Like I was, it was so crispy. I can't even, I can't describe the difference in the crispiness when they do fix your stigmatism with the contact lenses. It's so, so nice. So nice. But um, I am going to have to compromise, I think. So we're going to test these out for three days. Like I said, this is the same as the other one. It's the same. Um, but yeah, I have a feeling cause I'm looking at this card. I'm looking at the back of it and I already see better the small little letters. Okay. That's it for right now. You guys, I guess I'm going to go join the line. Uh, it, the lady was talking about the weather. She goes, what happened to our weather? I go, right. I go, I, I look like I'm all springy over here. And, um, I feel like I'm I wearing the wrong clothes. But, um, I think they open up at 10, which is in about a minute. So I'm going to go head on out there. In a crowded room, I find myself searching for you, but I'm lost. Okay, guys, I'm in the car. It is 12.04, and I'm actually on my way home. I'm going to go home. Um, I'm just not... I don't know you guys I'm just not I was in there a long time I did good shopping I found some good things you're gonna be surprised at something that I got you're gonna you're gonna recognize it I think I picked it up um, I, I, I'm just I'm just gonna go home I, I don't know I just not feeling it and um, I you know I'm not that hungry, but I'm almost going to go home and make myself eat. I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't, oh, I don't want to put my glasses on. Good or bad. I don't know. I just, I want to go home. Um, I was in there for two hours. I looked at everything and, you know, got into, I forgot to clean my hands, got into everything. Um... But I, I don't know. I, I, I got to go here. I got to go there. But I think I'm just going to. Go home. I'm going to go home. Make a couple phone calls. Um, I, I need to make some phone calls. So I think I'm just. going to be it for the day. Going out is a distraction for me. It is. Uh, it helped to, to do what I did right now. But I can find things at home to distract me that I need to do anyway. That I need to do and that will distract me. I, I think I just need to do that. I got all these clothes I got you know I gotta look at them thoroughly and 
inspect them. You guys, right now, if I could, if I could change my circumstance, I would. I mean, I'm changing it. But in a different way. But it's not up to me. And the truth is, it was never up to me. And there is nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I never thought that I would find myself in this position at 55. I'm going to continue to push through my day. Write in my book. I don't know if some of you may not know, but I... At the beginning, when this whole thing went down, um, I wrote a book. I, I wrote a letter to this person. I wrote a letter. And it was all my thoughts and feelings and things. And then it evolved into my feelings. Like the reaccount of, of it all. It was an account of it. You know what I mean? And then it just became a personal book, a story, my story. My thoughts out loud is what I called it. My thoughts out loud. I think I'm going to go work on it. I think I'm going to go work on it. I don't think I want to do anything else. Okay. Oh yeah, crying fast. I have an apron on because uh, I went to go uh, make bacon and eggs and try to eat. Um, I'm by myself other than uh, my son Aiden who takes a room downstairs and with the crying I just didn't want to take a chance of him hearing me cry. So I came and I brought my, my dinner, or my dinner, my my food upstairs. But I didn't, I can't even eat it. My Zivia is still full. I can't even eat it or drink it. Uh, I just called my sister-in-law uh, to try and talk with her a little bit. You know, just kind of reach out. A little bit and um, I can't do it I couldn't talk so I thought you know what talk to the camera <laughs> but I don't even think this is gonna work right now I can't find my place like I don't have a place you know going out distracting my brain is not good I tried that uh, eating to try to get myself protein I can't do that music does me good but even music doesn't help right now I wish I could just close my eyes and sleep for a little bit so that I don't think I'm gonna call my doctor um, the counseling is good but the place that I went to they're just they're and I don't mean to say it like they're just counselors but it was suggested that I seek a psychologist you know what I mean oh yeah I wanted to meditate you know and I can't even, for me, meditation is a rosary. I know it's probably what I should do, but I think if I do, I know it'll, I'll break down crying.
And maybe that's what I need to do. I have to remind myself why I am in the situation I am. And that ensures that I'm doing the right thing. Because when I go off my feelings and what I really would want, that's when I get into this this headspace. But when I sit back and I tell myself why you're here, why are you here? Why are you facing what you're facing today? Th- then I, I could I, I, I understand what I need to do. I understand why I'm here. And then it, it, it kind of it kind of tapers down those emotions. When I look at the court issue, then I get strength. I can't even eat. I'm gonna see if I can call my doctor. show you what I picked up. I'm going to show you some shoes I got. I got these PJs for my daughter. They're from um, Secret Treasures. They are 1416, but they do have a tie front. So they're these, and then you get the top. And it's going to be big for her, but who cares for the summer? So I got her that, and then Red Tag was $1.99. So I got that, and oh my gosh, for my store, um, I got this for my son. This is extra large. It's just a black shirt. Just a black shirt for him. It's really it feels good. I know this is Target, and three ninety nine, but I got my discount. Uh, I also bought this uh, tech gear, but this is XXL. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it or sell it in my store. Um, $3.99, but I got my discount. If I didn't get it for $1.99, I get my discount. Um, now, I got this. I don't know you guys. Um, this is from Aruba Blue, extra large, extra large. Let me bring you down just a little bit. Extra large Aruba blue. And it's a very pretty um, blue. It has a tie front there. And it's just, you could put like a tank top underneath. You know? Um, let me show you. You know, like with these pants, with the tank top. Oh, that would look nice. That would look nice. I debated on this and it, it's knitted. Knitted or crocheted? How do you say it? $3.99. Their prices there are very, very good. Like, I could see myself going there on, on special days. Now, what I'm learning though on Thursdays, it is packed at that one. Like, I thought the other ones were packed. It is packed on that one. I'm like, did I tell you about the ladies who meet up there? They're like, oh, I didn't know you were coming. And it's so neat. It's so neat to have that relationship with people, friends, you know? Anyway, I love this. Love it. So that one. I'm just showing you again what's for me. Oh, I found this. I never heard of this brand. It's called... um, Vero Moda, Vero Moda. This is a extra large, but look at the, it's like a faux, it's not silk, but it feels a little bit like silk. But look, look, look at that with the nice long necklace. The arms are good. Let me pull you down just a little bit. Let me show 
show you. What do you think? Oh, it might be. Oh, well, it might be too big. It's an extra large. Maybe it's supposed to be oversized. I don't know. I loved it. But, mm hmm. This one was $3.99. Their short sleeves tops are $3.99. You go to the other ones, they're now they upped them in price to $6.99. Long sleeves are $7.99. So, anyway, we'll have to try this one on. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you these. Okay, these are shoes. I debated. I really, really debated. But they're from um, they're from Aldo. I love. They're kind of. I, I love them. Okay. I. They're nude. A nude color. So they're gonna go with everything. I haven't even tried them on, guys. I'm not gonna try them on today, but. If I keep them, I promise you I will. They're nine. Okay, okay, okay. I have to try them on. But you know, something like this maybe runs small. I don't know, you know. And if it's, I might sell these. These these might be worth keeping. So these were $9.99. And I got 20% off of that. But look it, they're not even worn. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at that with the cross over you guys pointed this kind of like what I have right now pointed but look at the heel the only thing I worry about the heel is it's plastic and you know how they get yellow um, but look you can see the hardware ain't that neat I love them I love these so I got those. Uh, again, if they fit me a little too big, um, I'll sell them. Okay. I know you guys are going to remember this. I know you guys are. I went ahead and got it, you guys. Ready? This is from No Boundaries Large 1113. You guys remember. Look. And it's going to be for my belly dancing. That's what I wanted it for. Yes. So, we will try this some other time, you guys. I don't feel too, too good right now. But this is a chiffon. No, mesh. This is mesh. And I thought that the pants were like a cotton cotton, but they're not. They're not. They're very soft. I don't know if they'll fit. I don't. I don't know if it's going to work for what I want it to. But we are definitely going to try it, okay? And that's it, guys. And the rest was from my store. That's it. That's all I got. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to have my shake. 519, you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go shower. It cools me down. I'm going to go shower. And you know what, you guys? I'm going to get into a book. Or I'm going to get into typing my book or something like that. But I'm going to check out for tonight in terms of working out. Da, 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 da. I just need to decompress. It's been a very high emotion, especially talking with the locations to find a counselor. Um, because when I was looking for these locations, you guys, I was already feeling emotional so when they would ask me questions I would break down to be honest I would and that's how I know it's I, I need to get in to a place where I can express you know and not lay it on friends and, and things like that they're there for me my girlfriend she has been my rock to be honest um but the reality is is we all have our issues in order for me to move forward in my life I need to get help I need to do things that is going to get me there and there's something else that I want to tell you I'll tell you now the other morning and this is so insignificant yet let me take these off 
It's so insignificant, but yet it's, it was a big deal for me. Okay. I was listening to a doctor, uh, Dr. Barry, Dr. Ken Barry, and he interviewed somebody. I don't know if I mentioned this, you guys, maybe I did, maybe I did it. I'm not sure, but he interviewed a lady who is a biophysicist, biophysicist, and she started studying um, research, doing research study on ketosis of all things. Oh my God. This is why I'm bringing it up. And she, I went, what, what, what? It was an hour and some long interview. And the reason why she wanted to do it on women is because there's really not a lot of studies when it comes to ketosis. There's a lot in the animal kingdom in ketosis, also in athletes, uh, with ketosis, um, but there's not really a lot in women who are postmenopausal. There's just not a lot like, like people like me, you know? <laughs> and so she wanted to do the research on it. But the point that I'm trying to make when it comes to what it made me feel, the excitement of learning, because I love learning about that stuff. I love learning about food and the relationship with food with, with our body. I, I thrive on that. But those are the things that help me is when I'm, my mind is busy with things that I really enjoy and I'm learning and it's a productive thing. You know what I mean? It's a productive thing. It excites me. That excites me learning things like that. So I just wanted to tell you the other things that I do that really help me. It's not just thrifting. This is fun. It gets me with people. The other day, the uh, the last time I went to that thrift store, I had a lady come up to me. She wanted me to tell her how to, how to, what do I think if the blazer fit her good or not? She goes, what do you think? What do you think? And she's wearing the blazer and I'm just like, oh, you know, it fits you a little too big. You know, it was, it was like drowning her, <laughs> but she really loved it. She loved the color. It was orange, but it, she was so tiny and the, the coat was just drowning her. She goes, I, I thought so. And, but that helps me, you know, so I want to do more things outside my home. Definitely. This is why counseling for me outside the home is better, but right now I'll do what I need to do. Um, but those things excite me learning, being in my, being, feeling my brain, feeling myself with things that I love, belly dancing, and, and all these things. And I have more to come. We're going to be doing another thing too. But there are moments like this. And they're very, very normal. The uncertainties. I see something coming that is very scary. I see it coming. And days, moments like this. Days like these past two days. Kind of. I just need to decompress. You know what I mean? I don't want to push right now. And that's where I'm at. I take a shower, take this off and um, be done. But let's go do my ketones really, really quickly. And then I will say goodbye officially. Okay. For this. Gosh, it would help if I hit the record button. It's gotta work on that dresser. Okay. All right, guys. So we took our ketones right at 434. That's what it is right now. It's had time to sort of solidify just to recap uh yesterday i did not work out um and then today i ate at right when i got home and tried to have some eggs and bacon that's what i made but i think it was at one o'clock i think it was but i couldn't eat it i had maybe a couple strips of bacon a little bit of egg and i was just like couldn't eat and um right now i'm just gonna have my shake my protein shake so let me show you where we're at all right, guys, so I think it were more at 1.5 today. Um, the, the center is more of a 1.5. The outer is more of a 0 0.5. So I think, you know, we could say 1.25 or something like that. But regardless, I'm in ketosis. That's it for today. I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for being with me. Uh, we're going to talk. We're going to do a Let's Talk on Sunday. A very important Let's Talk on Sunday. So look out for that. Um, yeah. Progress.
progress, you know, little at a time, moment at a time. I'll tell you, you guys, if I had it in me to work out, I really, really would. I really would wear out this energy. I would. I just, it was just a lot on that phone, you know, it, it was just a lot. And then just talking to my sister-in-law crying and then crying on my own and then doing those things. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I want to honor my body a little bit and just say, okay, you know, you've been through it emotionally. You guys know I'm a chronically stressed person. These types of things shoot, shoot me up really bad. Gets me very tense. It, it really, really does. Um, and I, I know for me, the best thing to do is calm it down, bring it down. A nice walk outside wouldn't hurt, but honestly, right now I just want to just decompress with something typing, you know, my, my book as I call it. Yeah. So maybe tomorrow in the morning, I'll do a nice little belly dance in the morning, you know, something like that. All right, guys, thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for listening to me. This really helps. It helps talking to you guys. It's going to help talking to my therapist. It's going to help. It's going to be good. And moving forward and doing things that help. It really is. Okay. See you soon.